This is my old Biostar G41-M7 with a Celeron E3300, it's a dual core Celeron. And here's my replacement CPU which is an E8400. So I'm just going to show you how I take it off. So you just, I think you turn counterclockwise these tabs. As you can see I'm not like electrically discharged. I'm pretty lame. I just push the case like this. So I just twist it counterclockwise. I'm going to actually reuse this stock heat sink. So I did these four corners do it counterclockwise and it'll come off. Don't forget to take this off. I'm gonna reuse the stock cooler on here. Hopefully it can handle handle it. So if it's not coming out, you just have to make sure these things over here really match up. You can push them in so they come out. You see over here, and then it'll come out, come out. So this is how you get out of the SOC 775. You can see here's the thing over there. I'm not too worried about heat, but you should clean this off with some kind of cleaning solvent. I think they say use rubbing alcohol, clean it off. I've never been too afraid of heat issues. So over here, just pull it out, and now you can pull the cover off here pull this cover off and you have access to the CPU turn this over the very nice thing about these CPU chips is they're pinless not like old old time things so try to hold it on the sides I would usually clean this but not today Gonna put this away. Here's the E8400 chip. And so, you wanna try to match up the notches. There's a notch over here, there's a notch over here, and there are notches on the socket. So I know it's not too clear, but when you look at it, you'll see notches over there. So you try to match it up and it should fit in perfectly. And you close that. Close it. Finally, you put on some thermal paste, which I'm going to do now. Everyone says you use Arctic silver. This is just some generic stuff I got from a heat sink thingy. This isn't how you're supposed to do it, so I'm just lazy and I've never had major issues with heat, so pull it off. Spray it. They say you should use a, a credit card and wipe it. What's it called? And wipe it so that it's flat. So you should probably do that. This isn't. I don't know how to do it properly. So again, with the heatsink fan, pull all this stuff. I believe you're gonna have to pull it clockwise now because once you pull it clockwise this bottom part moves up.
So you need to move all of these things clockwise. Once you do that, you can kind of squeeze these ends to make sure they'll fit in when you push them in. I might use like needing those pliers or something to push them in. And so, how do I want this? I need this hooking up to this thing hooking up over there. So, probably something like this would be not too bad. And you just make sure it all fits in. If it's helpful, you can turn it over, see if it's going through properly. In my case, it's not. I went through the wrong one. You see it's about ready to come in. And then you can go ahead and they're about ready to come in. It's over here, over here, over here, and over here. So now you can push from opposite corners. Hey, one does that. Sounds like the motherboard's gonna break. There, that's the last one. So they're all clipped in. You can tell by looking back over here, they're not coming out. Finally, I can put the motherboard back into the case. So that's how I'm upgrading from my E3300 to E8400 dual core.